Hey everyone. All right, so I wanted to go over what I did in class in a little more detail. So these are the endnotes uh, that were created via the script that we talked about in class, the footnotes to endnote script. Um, and then many of you in the process of styling them, <coughs> excuse me, um, got to this point here where you had things styled decently well. Um, but it was starting to bother you that these were all left aligned so that when we got to the double digits Things shifted a bit, which is admittedly odd now I'll say first off that this is if you got this far. This is pretty good and typically what you see um, Not that there's anything wrong with this per se I mean it does look a little sloppy, but this is far more usable than what you probably would have gotten before you did any amount of styling, so keep that in mind. So when I talk about wanting these to all align, what we're really talking about is making these numerals right align, but then all this text over here left align. Much like this, so we have a very even column of white space that goes between these. So when we transition from single digits to double, uh, there's not this wild shift uh, with the text and all this text lines up on the left hand side so I'll show you how to do that right now so we're gonna take this here it is this is the same file just uh, run through a little bit and I'll go over to paragraph styles these are all endnote numbered uh, so I'm gonna click on this and come down here to bullets and numbering, which is where you style all of this. And the real trick to all this is including a tab space and the um, grep command for that, the character command is the up caret or up arrow T. So first we're gonna add that in there and that's gonna give us a little space to play with and then we're gonna shift this to right alignment. You can see already it's getting quite a bit better. And one thing I forgot to mention is that when these were originally brought in, they have an extra space at the beginning of each single one. So I'm not going to delete all these manually, or maybe I am. Um, but just keep that in mind that on these double or triple lines that the reason why that first character is offset is because of that. I'll do these all on this page since we transition from single markers to double. All right, so we can get an idea of what's going on here. So I'll come back to this endnote number and pop back into here. And then, it probably doesn't do you all any good if you can't see it. So move it over here. So this, depending on your typeface, there's no prescribed numerals I can give you here. You know, be somewhere in this ballpark, I would imagine. And then you can see, depending on how much space you actually want, You'll get to a point where you don't see a noticeable difference. That's usually where I cut it off. And now, while these aren't styled in anything other than Times New Roman, and I suppose nothing wrong with that, but they become eminently more usable because they're eminently more readable in a systemic way. You know right where each one begins because of this, and you know that all of these are all part of the same block of text. There's no confusion there. Hopefully that clears it up. Let me know in Slack if you have any questions. Thanks.